The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 5th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what the bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Send me an email. Send it early. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got all the U.S. indices trading north. The Dow is up 415. The S&P 58, NASDAQ 100, 255, Brussels up 8, Semi's up 64, 5, Trendy's up 248, New York Stock Exchange up 160, Gold is back 7 bucks, Silver down 2 pennies, Lights Recruit up buck 38, the leaders to the upside dollar-wise, Alphabet or Google up 65, Amazon is up 56, Chipotle up 40, MicroStrategy 29, Netflix up 27. To the downside, Equinix off 23 bucks, Murata Therapeutics down 11, Carvana off 8, Chart Industries down 6, and Novavax is off 6. It's about 4% to the downside. The first question that we've got inside the uh, Tiger's Den is uh, from John. And John wants to take a look at the TLT. Uh, and the 30-year uh, uh, Treasury future contract. That's what we're really going to go to is the 30-year Treasury contact, contract. So let me get over to that where we start. Let's start, let's start right here. Yeah, we're going to start here uh, because this will answer John's question specifically, which is with an eye to keep support levels. So would you kindly do a full review of the 30-year Treasury with an eye to keep support levels and lower targets if these those levels break? Many thanks. Absolutely. So, John, what I have in the upper left-hand corner is really the uh, chart that will answer that question for us. So I have the 30-year uh, Treasury. It was in a consolidation pattern. And we had a break of that consolidation pattern a few days ago. Uh, and once you break a consolidation, that suggests that you have a measured move equal to or greater than a consolidation. Now, the consolidation break really took place, I'd say, on the trading day of September 27th. On the trading day of September, I'm sorry, September, on the trading day of September 30th, a brand new bullish structured profile formed. We know how important those profiles are. Price right now is sitting on that support level. That support level is 159.08. So, John, if there's a close below a bullish structured profile, 159.09, that's going to be a suggestion that price will go ahead and make that price target. That price target gets you in the 156 level. Now, if we take a look at the weekly time frame, we're only two days into not even a full, you know, day and a half into the week, but we can see that price is trading below the bottom of that weekly profile, 160.13. The last level of profile support that would be out here is coming from the monthly time frame, and that's up at the 159.12 level. So you got 159.10. Again, a close below that. Pretty much a good indication that price should make its way back into that, you know, around the 156.18 area. We're not going to try to get this right to the T, but that would be your indication of a move lower. Now, you might wait until you get a close below the swing points of either... September 29th, 158.22. Yeah, 158.22 would be a doble confirmation and possibly set up an A to B equals CD to the downside. So that's what I see 
when we take a look at the 30-year Treasury. I don't. I'm looking at my other charts on my other screen out here, the eight-panel set of charts, just to see if there's anything else worthwhile to share with you. And I don't see anything. So hope that helps you out with regard to the 30-year Treasury, the key level of support that it's trading into right now. And if it breaks that level, where price is likely headed to. So thanks so much for the question. Let's go back and take a look at the equity market, see what's going on here. And as we get back to these charts, give me a moment to get there. Let's take a look at our TAS daily profiles. So here, there is a brand new profile that is attempting to form inside the ES Mini. I'm going to make that easier for you to see as I turn price off. Just give me a moment to get that done. Now, like yesterday, there was a new profile that was attempting to form. It did not actually take hold. And now we've got a new profile that is also attempting to form. So that bottom, this is a bullish structure profile at the moment, as of 111 in the afternoon. The bottom of that profile is at 4281. The center, 4344. And the top is at 4408. Typically, when you close above the top of a bullish structured profile, price will make a run for the top of that profile in this case here that would be at 4408 so we'll turn price back on we are trading just above the center of that profile at 4344 so that would be a level to watch now recall or remember you can't recall but remember this profile will not confirm until 601 this evening but let's use the information that we have available to us right now in the case of the nq in order to generate a bullish reversal candle and that would be a bull sash candle Price needs to close above yesterday's open. Yesterday's open is 14785. That's a number to put down on a pad of paper. Why? Because if you get that bull sash candle, then you will see all four equity future contracts have valid bottoming patterns out there. What happens if price doesn't close above it? Well, if price doesn't close above it, we don't have that signal inside of the NQ. But then here's where you have the fly in the financial ointment so to speak and that fly is give me a moment here to get to the flies is going to be this chart because whereas we do not have a confirmed gartley buy pattern inside the nq right now we do have that pattern inside of the ndx 100 uh and so it looks like this here's the a to b point give me a second i'll just kind of draw that in with a line tool out here there's your a to b uh, i almost got it down there it's really close enough for our work right now. And I'm just going to take this line, move this to the C point out there. So there we go. You can see that right now you've got the completed one to one A to B equals CD pattern. And if you get a bullish reversal candle, which we have right now, that's going to signal a Gartley buy pattern in the NDX 100. Now, we can see that that oscillator and change line changed colors about four or five trading sessions ago. So if we get that bullish reversal candle today, that would then at least suggest that price would make its way up to that level. That level right now is printed out at 14,962. That level will change slightly by a few bucks, but that becomes the range out there. So the, the more ideal setup would be a confirmation in the futures contract. If we don't, what does that mean? I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. I'd have to go, I'd have to go back and do a bunch of studying out there and uh, see if we can figure that out. In the meantime, if we take a look at the uh, Dow Equity Future contract, it did generate that new profile yesterday. Price is above the bottom of that profile, 34.003. Next target here for the Dow Equity Future contract, 34. 468. The Russell 2000 also has a new profile. That formed yesterday, 2207 is support. 2266 is the resistance level. Steve Rhodes with TFNM would love to hear from you. Give us a call at 877-927-6648. Send me an email, steve at tfnm.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we got a question that came in from David H. David uh, writes in, says, hey, Steve, uh, do you think Expedia will hit the high of 179.59 made on June 1st by this Friday? Hmm. Well, I'm not really that great with regard to being able to predict where price will go in the next three days out here. But let's go take a look at the uh, tool. Let's go take a look at what Expedia is communicating to you and I at this stage here. So as we take a look at profile levels out here, there's nothing to suggest that price won't be able to move higher because price is above the top of the daily, weekly, and monthly profile. So those charts are not really going to do us a whole heck of a lot of good. We need to go take a look at Stevie's white background chart. So let's go take a look at the daily time frame first. What do we see here? Well, what we see here, David, is that it's possible that today is going to generate a bearish reversal candle that will confirm a Rhodes Wintum indicator top. We also see that the oscillator and change line changed colors, uh, looks like maybe about a week and a half ago or so, went from red to green. And if you get this confirmed top here today, that's going to suggest at least price moves back to 165.41. And I would say it would likely move lower before it moves higher. From a resistance standpoint on a daily basis, 178.33 is a TD9 breakdown level. Every time price has gotten up into that level, it has turned back. So you're going to ask, you're asking me about 179.59, and I'm going to say no, not likely. Uh, out here. First, you're going to look at price getting back to the 165.41 level. And then if price can bounce off of that, then that could say, OK, I'm going to go run up to that 178 area. That's coming from the daily chart. Let's go look at a weekly chart out here. Well, the weekly chart shows that the real significant resistance level is 173.96. Just and that's the TD9 breakdown area, just as 142.10 was a key level of support. <laughs> this is the weekly chart for Expedia. <coughs> so it can't bust it up. This says price pulls back to the 164.57 area, the weekly oscillator and change line. The monthly chart 
has a TD nine count topping pattern out here. Now price did pull back, tested support, both the top of its profile as well as its oscillator and change line. So this is strong. The weekly says, hey, the, the longer term outlook, maybe not so bad. The signal right now is neutral to bullish, but the daily and weekly are saying, I think I want to make a move lower, 165.42 or so. If I look at the intraday charts out here, just looking for some signals, see if there's anything else that I can see to assist you. The 195 says, yeah, be careful. I could pull back to 162.58. 130 minute charts is 166.98. Um, so it looks to me out here, David, like a price for Expedia wants to head lower before it then <laughs> decides to head higher. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let me take a swig of water. <laughs> Must have got a fur ball while I was breathing. Okie dokie. So that's it for Expedia. Uh, thanks so much for writing in, David. Have a uh, great day. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in from G7. Yeah, it's, uh, that's all of the uh, G7 out there. And G7 wants to take a look at the semiconductor index. So let's go take a look at the SMHs, the ETF that represents that. And uh, right now we know that the SMHs pulled back and found support G7 at the bottom of its weekly profile. That's 248.03. That's going to be a key area to watch because a close below that would then suggest that price would pull back to the bottom of its monthly profile at 234.31. Let's go take a look at the SMHs on the daily basis, see if we can see any signals out here. And as we open up the daily chart, what do we see? We see that, in fact, price has pulled back to test a key level of support. It's breakout area, 252.01. So that says... At this stage, although I don't have any kind of, uh, well, I take that back. You're, you're going to get a confirmed, it appears that you will get, appears, day's not over. Price has to close above the open from yesterday. That open from yesterday was 254.56, your 254.80. If price does close above that, you will then get a bull sash candle that will confirm a buy the D point uh, pattern out here. That would also suggest that price will run up to its oscillator and change line, which is red, but it changed colors about three bars ago. So it looks to me like uh, the SMHs are going to go target that 262 level. If it turns down from there, it was just a counter trend move. If we look at the weekly time frame chart out here, nothing really to add to the picture. It did top with wave number seven, and last week was a Rhodes Momentum indicator signal. Uh, but uh, price is held. When I say price is held, the bottom of that weekly profile at 248.03. If I look at a quick short-term chart, the 30-minute out here, this confirmed a uh, Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom. Price is right up at resistance, which is 254.96. Uh, it has not yet generated a TD9 count top. Price needs to close above, not close above, price needs to spike above 255.12. If it does that during this session, which ends in seven minutes, or the next session that ends at two, then you'll have a TD nine count top. And that would suggest that price will likely pull back to about the 251.84 level. So the SMHs um, right now on the short term time frame, if it does pull back, what it's going to do is going to jeopardize that uh, bull sash candle on the daily time frame. So uh, I don't know if you were trying to make some decisions about uh, the SMHs. If you were trying to take a long position, I'd wait. Wait to see how that short-term 30-minute chart plays out and whether or not uh, you get that bullish reversal candle inside the daily time frame for the SMHs. So hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> well, if you're setting up another short on the SMHs, just wait for that uh, TD9 count to complete inside of the 30-minute chart. Remember, it's got to spike higher in order to generate that uh, signal for you. So no other questions at this uh, stage here. Again, 877-927-6648 is the uh, number. Let's uh, take a look at, uh, let's spend our time, let's go take a look at gold and silver. Let's do that by taking a look at Stevie's eight panel charts out here. So let's uh, take a moment, get over, I've just got to find it. There we go. And switch the screens here. That way you'll be looking at the same thing that I am. And that's going to be our eight panel gold chart. So as we take a look at it, what do we know? First, just looking at the intraday charts out here uh, to see if we've got any kind of real signals to assist us. And not really on the uh, short term time frame. Uh, so let's take a look at the 30 minute. And on the 30 minute chart, try to get a gauge for where gold is likely headed to. So as it makes its bottom out here. It was just simply coming back and retesting a TD9 breakout level. That held. Below that pattern held. Uh, prices above the top of its profiles out here. 
And so therefore, if we see a move above, a close above, 176190, 1761.90, that should take price up to the 1770 level. That's a top, or that is its TD9 breakdown resistance area. If, in fact, a price can get above that, that would be short-term bullish for Goldilocks. On a daily time frame out here, the key level that gold needs to close above, well, it's already above it. The key level that it needs to hold is 1752. That is its red oscillator and change line. So gold has a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. It did that with the bullish engulfing candle. Uh, from a, about four trading sessions ago. And as long as price holds 1752.90, price should continue to move higher. I'd use that 30 minute chart out here as that gauge. Again, anything over 1761 will suggest a move to that 1770 area. So that's what the gold charts tell us. Let's go take a look at high ho silver. As we pull these over, we're going to see that we're about to come to a, a breakout here. So we'll review this when we get back. But in the case of uh, silver, we're really still waiting for in the daily time frame is a, a bullish reversal candle. We don't have that out here, so what does that mean? Look, support is held on the weekly basis. That support being the TD9 count. At this stage here, silver's got some resistance at the bottom of its daily profile, and that's at the 2318 area. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Would love to hear from you. Give me a call at 877-927-6648, or go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. We got a request to take a look at that JP Morgan. JPM is a ticker symbol. Uh, right now, we can see that it's trading right into resistance. Resistance is the top of its daily profile. 136.69 is the top price right now. Trading out at 169.35 out there. Let me make sure I've got that correct. Yeah, I do. Uh, top of the box is, yeah, 169. I'm sorry. I take that back. 169.30 is the top of the profile. Price is trading at 169.35. So you're right in the resistance level out there. There's no resistance on the weekly or the monthly time frame from a profile standpoint. So let's pull over the other JP Morgan charts. As price is trading into that resistance level, what else is it doing? Aha. Yesterday was a bar number eight of a TD9 count. So it's going to form a TD9 count pattern today. So what does that mean? What I would do if you're long JP Morgan, we remember we uh, I don't know if you remember, but and I, I don't think I mentioned it, but the weekly and the, the uh, monthly were both above their profiles. I, I think I did say that because there was no resistance level. So your resistance is really here, this uh, topping pattern uh, inside of uh, JP Morgan. So that says that the the high could be yesterday because that take out yesterday's high or it could be tomorrow out there. So be careful. Now, when a topping pattern exists, you typically see some type of signal in the short term time frame. Uh, so we'll get to those. But let's just take a quick peek at the weekly and the monthly on a weekly basis out here. Everything looks pretty good. You've got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but that needs a bearish reversal candle on a weekly basis to confirm some type of top. So longer term or intermediate term looks good. Longer term on a weekly basis. Price right now is trading above. The high from June of 2021, or early in the month. But a close above 167.44 would be a very bullish message on a monthly basis for J.P. Morgan. In the short term, a 30-minute time frame chart, I don't really have much in the way of signals, so it's not saying that the top is necessarily here at the moment. On a 65-minute chart, we did have a Rhodes momentum indicator top, but if price takes out that high, that high would be 170.44. That would be a bullish outcome. 130-minute chart, that has a, a Rhodes momentum indicator top as well. 195 uh, does not. Uh, so with regard to J.P. Morgan, I would be just simply cautious at this stage here. I certainly would add to a position. Would I short it? Not, not, not at this stage here because we haven't seen any key breaks of support out here. So, But it does look like it's getting ready to set up a short-term top, which may have formed yesterday or could be tomorrow out there. I hope that helps you out. I think that is George in Tampa. Thanks so much for the request. We had another request inside the Tiger's Den to take a look at Fang. And as we take a look at Fang out here, this formed a TD9 count top yesterday. Today is a higher high. We know that that top can take place on the bar following bar number nine. If it does, we don't know that it will or not but if it does that that's going to then suggest a move back to the top of its profile which is at 97.43 if price could get below that then it would be the oscillator and change line currently printed in 94.95 but it'll be lower than that if in fact price moves downward let's look at a weekly time frame chart out here see if there's any other signals for fang let's populate it and as we do not no signals there it looks pretty good so it's just the daily and on the 30 minute chart out here oops, that's the weekly on the 30 minute chart you do have the Rhodes momentum indicator pattern. Uh, no TD9. Okay, so the key level of support that, that would need to be broken to would be 97.71. If prices pulls back to that level inside the FANG, that is your buy the dip opportunity, so to speak. That's a 30 minute TD9 count breakout level. If you do get two consecutive closes below 103.49 on a 30 minute basis, that would then signal that move back to the 97.71 level. So I know that you sold half of your position. Uh, so a good job there. I don't have anything here to suggest that you sell the other half at this stage. And if price were to close above today's high or whatever the high is today, you know that that's going to be a strong momentum uh, move to the upside. At least that would be its message. So without a real good short term signal out here, I like what you did. I would just hang with that half, the other half right now. And let's see how tomorrow plays out. Uh, thanks so much for the request. I have one other request, which is to take a look at natural gas. Now, let me try to get natural gas going on my white background charts out here. I think it is November, yeah, that we're trading. And this is from uh, Michael. And Michael wanted to take a look at, let me see here the question. Just sold your boil at 95. Where does natural gas look like it's heading? And so let's go take, let me pull up the uh, natural gas contracts. Give me a moment here to find it. Light sweet crude, natural gas. Okay, I guess I guess I just only have these out here. So we take a look at natural gas. Well, 
on this, actually, if price closes today, and it is the November contract that is the uh, is the active contract, if price closes above the high from September 28th, Michael, and that was six dollars and thirty one cents, and you're at six thirty four right now. That will be bullish because that was your uh, Three River Evening Star pattern that had confirmed a sell the D point. It might even been a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. Let me see out here. Yeah, it was even a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. So let's pull over my white background charts, and it might give us a better view of what's going on inside of natural gas. So here you can see, when I say here you can see, I'm referring to September 28th. Uh, price gets up there, I get wave number seven. That can always be a topping signal. You can see it generate that Rhodes Mentum indicator triggered. It triggered a Rhodes Mentum indicator signal, but that needs a bearish reversal candle, which we actually got on September 29th. But that oscillator and change line is green. And you can see how price has held the top of that profile. It has held that oscillator and change line. And that's really a very bullish message. Nonetheless, if price does not close above that 631, 6.318 level, price will just simply have held resistance. So your question is, where does natural gas look like it's heading? It all depends on whether or not price takes out that resistance level. Let's look at the weekly chart out here. Although, okay, the weekly chart, very bullish out here. No, no topping signal. Bar number seven of a TD9 count pattern out here. Let's look at a 30-minute chart out here. What do I have? Really not much. I'm just going to go through this. 30, 60-day, no topping signal. 120, no topping signal. 240 has triggered a rose momentum indicator signal but needs a bearish reversal candle in the five-hour. The same thing. So, uh, Michael, at this stage here, um, nothing more to add to it. Just watch that high from the trading session of September the 28th, I believe. September $6.30. and thirty. Now, is that the? Oh, let me give you. Let me make sure I give you the right signal. Sometimes, sometimes it's off there. So, yeah, six point three one eight, Michael. That's the level to watch out there inside of uh, natural uh, gas. So, I hope that that helps you out. I know you want to know where it's going. We have to wait, quite frankly, for the market to tell us that when price is right up to a resistance area. Uh, so looking here to see if there's any other requests. Looks like there's one more that has come in by, via email. And uh, this one is also from David. No, this is from David H. in Tom Ball, Texas. Can you give me the uh, trading range boundaries for Exxon Mobil? Should I be concerned with the bearish engulfing candle forming on the daily chart? Great question. We're about to go to the uh, breakout here. But let's get uh, Exxon Mobil, if we can, fired up on our three panel background, three panel charts out here to see what other kind of support or resistance it might be trading into. As we take a look at that, we'll see that price is above the top of its daily profile, above the top of its weekly. And the next upside target is 64.92. That is the top of the monthly profile. So we get back from this breakout here. Uh, let's go take a look at today's session out there. Not a bull, not a bearish engulfing candle just yet, uh, because price would need to uh, close below the open of yesterday, and that open is 61.32. Right now, you're trading at 61.41. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, 
is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at Exxon Mobil, which right now, from a profile standpoint, would suggest to move up to 64.92. But we're going to go look at the white background chart, see what other signals we have out here. And on a daily time frame, today is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count. We know that that can absolutely be a topping signal. Of course, the higher high could take place tomorrow. We'll take a look at that oscillator and change line. Changed colors about six, seven trading sessions ago. So with the topping signal that's in place here, um, we should anticipate that price in that line will catch up to each other. So that's what the daily chart tells us. Uh, why? So as price is forming a daily TD9 count top, the weekly chart ran right into resistance at its TD9 breakdown level. That's at 62.76. Now, the week is not over, and the price closes above 62.76, David. The weekly chart will be very bullish out there, but that's not what we're looking at at the moment. We can understand why the daily chart did what it did, and, and I know that would be a question I would have had because I'd say, hey, wait a minute here. Why is uh, ExxonMobil pulling back just a tad today when light sweet crude is up at a new high out here. Now, when I say new high, I'm not talking about new all-time high, just new high inside the pattern. But if I pull over light sweet crude, I'll do that right here. We're not done with ExxonMobil. Now, if I take a look at the light sweet crude contract, you can see wave number seven, letter G. You can see Today is going to be bar number nine of a TD9 count. This suggests that light sweet crude could be forming a top between today and tomorrow with regard to that pattern. Of course, the beauty of that pattern is the high of the pattern. If we see a close above that, certainly within a couple of bars, that tells us about a very strong momentum move to the upside. No bearish reversal signal as we speak right now, but you do have that caution sign. On a monthly chart out here, nothing to really add to our conversation. Short-term time frame, 30-minute roads momentum indicator signal. This is suggesting a pullback. Uh, the pullback would be to 60.64. If ExxonMobil pulls back to that level, holds, uh, that would be a bullish outcome because that is the 30-minute breakout level out here. So that's what I see when we take a look at ExxonMobil. Let me make sure I've got to all your questions here, Dave. Um, I believe that we have. So thanks so much for writing in, and uh, best of luck to you on that trade. Got a couple questions inside the Tiger's Den. One is to take a look at, or maybe it's the only one, is to take a look at tick symbol ABUS. ABUS, I guess, is in a, uh, a patent dispute. Is that what it is, patent dispute uh, out here? Yeah, it must be a patent dispute that they've got with Moderna. And uh, that ruling, what did you say that ruling is? Throw a prayer No, they're just hearing oral arguments on it. Okay, so as we take so that, 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 could, that case could last quite a long time, years out there 
Well, if they're hearing oral arguments, well, it shouldn't be years. But in any event, let's just take a look at this is Arbutus Biopharma. So what do we know about it? What we know is that price yesterday closed below the bottom of its profile. Two consecutive closes below that would suggest lower price. And that means you're watching the level of $4.24. Price is trading at four twenty two. So where would lower price take us to? Well, we just go over to the next profile. That would be the weekly time frame. And that would suggest perhaps three seventy three, the top of its weekly profile. But the weekly chart is bullish. And the monthly chart is bullish because price is trading above those profiles. So let's go take a look at ABUS. Let's look at the daily and weekly time frames. See if there's any signals here to assist us. So there's a hammer candle that formed a few days ago. There's not been a, a confirmation of this road momentum indicator uh, pattern. We don't have the bearish reversal candle. But what you do have here, Dan, is you do have that hammer candle. And that hammer candle uh, low is $4.06. If you did see it close below that, that would be a signal that price is getting ready to perhaps pull back towards the $3.08 level. That is where its breakout area is. We have this expression, if you close below the low of a hammer candle, if you're long, you're wrong. We don't have that just yet. We just have price trading below the daily profile. Of course, what happens if price regains that daily profile? That suggests that yesterday's move would be a false signal. That's why Stevie likes at least two consecutive bars out there. So watch the bottom of that profile for information. On a weekly basis out here, what do we have? Oh, we have a TD9 count top. So whereas I said, hey, we didn't see any resistance out there, that was true on the prior when we looked at the black background chart, but now we have a valid TD9 count top. And that suggests that ABUS should pull back to test that oscillator and change line and top of its profile. That's in a 373 to 381 level out here. On a 30-minute basis, we just have price moving sideways after generating a Rhodes momentum indicator. Bottom pattern out here, we can see that the profile, mm, no, I can't say that. Uh, so I can't say that. I'm not going to say it. Uh, that's all the information that I've got for you, Dan. I hope that helps you out. Now, the question was about ABUS, but what's going on in the case of Moderna? MRNA. So why don't we just take a look at that chart as well, since I don't really have any requests that I see at the moment. If there was something in the den that you need me to look at, would you please retype that in for me? Uh, I would appreciate that. Uh, and if you've got a new request, that will work too. MRNA, though, is a ticker symbol that we're going to go take a look at and uh, see what it is doing as well, because it's part of the litigation. As we take a look at Moderna, what do we have out here? Well, I do see an A to B equals CD to the downside out there. Uh, that has not confirmed yet. We can draw that pattern in. Hasn't confirmed because we don't have a bullish reversal candle. I don't believe we do. So here's our A point. Our B point is down here on August 16th. The C point out here would be on the trade day of September 10th. So it's hit the one-to-one -one level. And that says for Moderna, what we want to do is we want to be on the lookout for some type of bottoming signal. Uh, on some type of bullish reversal candle. And so we don't have that just yet. Um, so that's what I would be waiting for there. Now, in the case of Moderna, this is suggesting nothing more than the A to B equals CD to the downside. And price could be targeting the breakout level of 229. Curious on a 30-minute chart, what do we have out here? Looks a little bit like uh, that chart for ABUS. So not a big tell out here that I can see. But with regard to uh, if you're thinking that... Uh, uh, the other symbol was an ABUS. If you're looking for some type of clue that they're going to succeed in this, it's just not in the charts as we speak right now. So I hope that helps you out. That's over the daily bottom now. Yeah. So we'll just say that yesterday's, uh, at this stage, it's going to be about the close, not where it's trading right now. But it would say that yesterday's close below it, if it regains that profile level, uh, would be nothing more than a, a false move to the downside for the daily time frame. So hope that helps you out, and best of luck with that uh, trade. That was for Dan in Boston, um, who likes the Yankees, because he lives near Boston, I believe. And that's why he went with that uh handle, Boston Day. But tonight should be a good game to watch. Uh, I, I enjoy baseball. I certainly enjoy the playoffs. Uh, I love going to baseball games and uh, you know, just watching the action out there. I'll certainly be watching that game this evening. So what do we want to do now? There's no request in the uh, uh, no request I've got by email or or by uh, or, or inside the Tigers den out here. So what are we going to take a look at next that we haven't so far? Um, <laughs> New York Stock Exchange, the advanced decline line, thank you, S&P, we'll go, we'll go do that, uh, is still in the hands of sellers right now. That advanced decline oscillator is printing out at minus 2.6. 
Um, so, hand the, the, oh, I know we can take a quick peek at if I've got it up. Yeah, let's go take a look at this. So you've had pretty good market breadth today. I'm assuming you've had pretty good market breadth. Just curious what the market breadth of our TAS market profiles are for the uh, – for the S&P and the uh, NASDAQ. So the S&P, you're still in the red zone. That's not a good thing, by the way, when it comes to TAS market profiles for daily and weekly. That says sellers are still in control. And for the NASDAQ 100, also on the daily and weekly time frame, sellers still in control. That from a market breath standpoint. We get back from this breakout, we're gonna go take a look at ticker symbol UPST for S&P and the time frame. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome out. Uh, welcome back, uh, folks. We're going to finish the show with uh, SNP and the Tigers. Then wants to take a look at ticker symbol UPST. That is Upstart Holdings out here. And the question is, uh, where do you think the buy is on UPST? So we can see that price has pulled back and has tested and so far rejected the top of its daily profile. Old resistance that uh, perhaps has become new support. So that's one possibility. But Dan, before I would not, I'm sorry, it wasn't Dan, it was SNP. Uh, we can also see that there's a small A to B equals CD pattern uh, that is in place. So what I would be waiting for here 
is I'd be waiting for a bullish reversal candle. And that would then confirm your one to one A to B equals CD, and it would confirm a Gartley buy pattern. Short of that, and the reason why I would wait for that is because on the weekly time frame chart, for some reason my A to B equals CD tool is not allowing me to print that pattern. But you can see the you know the A point would be the low of its um, on a weekly basis, its uh, IPO back in December of 2020. The B point I'd be using is the high from May of uh, May 31st, 2021, and the C point would be the retracement into July 12th. Well, clearly this was more than a one-to-one, -one, and you had that little dark cloud cover candle that formed, and so that just says a bit of caution. If I didn't see that on the weekly basis, the topping pattern out of your S&P, I might say, you know, now would be the time, assuming we could see something on a short-term time frame. But here's the daily chart. Let's pull the daily chart, white background charts, that is. You've got a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. Again, one level of support is held, but I would feel better if I saw a bullish reversal candle. What's the weekly chart show us? Not a lot out here. Uh, oh, we take that back. So in addition to that dark cloud cover, that was confirming a TD9 count. This would suggest that price should pull back to the oscillator and change line, about 260, 287. Uh, monthly chart, not enough data. 30 chart, um, yeah, nothing here to take action on. So the short-term time frames are trying to form some type of bottom. Well, the 30 and the 65 were S&P. Uh, why don't you wait? Let's wait. Even though support is held, let the market prove itself to us because you can make a case that this should really head lower and just temporary support has held. I would change my mind if it was a bullish reversal. Folks, stay tuned. David White is up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.